Running as an underdog, signs of support can mean a lot. Lisa Savage finds one at the Yarmouth Farmer's Market. Did you rate me first? Asking why, Savage gets what she says is a familiar answer. A lot of it is the um, outside state money that's going into the other two races. Uh-huh. In my opinion, if you don't live here, you shouldn't be able to put money into the Senate race. Unlike the other candidates in Maine's Senate race, which has become one of the costliest in the country, Lisa Savage does not have a lot of money. Also unlike the others, she hadn't thought about running until last year. But ranked choice voting was such a game changer and some Green Party elders, uh, you know, last summer co contacted me and convinced me that this is the race to watch. You have a very unpopular incumbent. You have ranked choice voting. Savage was born in Maine but grew up mostly in California. She came back to take over her father's restaurant in Skowhegan, then spent 25 years teaching school. Savage has long been an activist on a variety of issues and says living in rural Maine shows the state's problems. And I really see how the people that live around me in the 2nd District are struggling economically long before the pandemic. Um, so I'm motivated to get involved. She is running as an independent because the Green Party could not muster enough signatures to get on the ballot. Her top issue? Health care and the push for Medicare for all. We're long overdue for universal health care. Now that we're in the middle of a public health crisis, I think far more people realize, oh, this is why we need a national health plan. If voters in Maine agree with me that we need Medicare for all, they can rank me first. Savage is the only person in the race supporting Medicare for all and says the country can afford it, but that corporations and the wealthy are in the way. What we also see is that many corporations, very wealthy corporations in this country, pay no taxes. They have put wealthy people in Congress to write the tax codes to benefit wealthy people. I think if the wealthy paid their fair share of taxes in this country, we also would not have the question, well, how are we going to pay for it? Savage also blames big corporations for blocking progress on her other top issue, climate change. The other thing is that we're in a climate emergency. I feel like young people look at my generation and say, what part of emergency do you guys not get? She is supporting the controversial plan called the Green New Deal. The reason why it has New Deal in the name is it would be a federally funded jobs program that would create thousands in Maine, thousands of additional new good union jobs. Savage argues that a majority of Mainers want strong action for climate change just as she says they support universal health care. Like most Democrats, Savage says it's time for Senator Collins to be replaced. And while many of her issues are to the left of the other candidates, Savage says again, ranked choice voting gives her a chance. We'd love to have your first ranking if you want a Green New Deal to treat climate emergencies like it's an emergency. Yeah. And Medicare for all. And Lisa Savage says that win or lose, she will keep pushing for that change. In Yarmouth, Don Kerrigan, New Center, Maine.